I'm here, Nori Siddiqui, teaching history civics at the Lucknow Public Collegiate Jockey Fruit Branch. Children, I'm here to discuss certain topics with you of the syllabus of history civics for semester 2 examinations. Now, let us begin with, in civics portion, we will have the executive and the judiciary. In history, we have First World War, Second World War, the rise of dictatorship, then we have UNO, major agencies of UNO and non-aligned movement. Now you have to remember one thing from executive, we have president, his qualifications, elections, his powers and functions, the prime minister, again his elections, his powers and the functions, council of ministers, then we have the Council of Ministers, the individual and collective responsibilities. In judiciary, we have the appointment of the judges, Supreme Court, High Court and the subordinate courts. We have Lok Adalats. Now moving towards history portion. The first and the second world war, we have causes. You have to understand each and every causes of the first and the second world war. Then, the rise of dictatorship, we have only the similarities and the differences between them, between fascism and Nazism. Then, moving quickly towards UNO, its formation, principles, then we have the organs of UNO, like General Assembly, Security Council and International Court of Justice. Under the major agencies of UNO, we have the UNICEF, UNESCO and WHO, its composition as well as the functions. The last chapter that is NAM, Non-Aligned Movement, we have the formation of the Non-Aligned Movement, its meaning and the role of Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. The architects of NAM are also very important. So you all have to understand the scope of the syllabus very well. Do well in your examinations. I hope this video of mine is going to help you surely. Thank you.